Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Today we're looking at a Kenmore heavy duty. So this one here, we'll take a look at it. It's been sitting for a while. Now look what we have here. Somebody left some homegrown. <laughs> No, I don't need that today. Thanks anyway. <laughs> anyway, so you can see that this drum is frozen. So that indicates to me that it goes one way, but it won't go the other way. It indicates to me that the motor is either uh, shot or frozen. By the looks of this outside, it looks like it could be just frozen. And we might be able to lube it up some good oil and a little elbow grease. Let's give it a try. Have to come out in order to take that top panel off. There's these little tabs right here on the front panel. You have to stick a flathead screwdriver in, or you can pull back on the on this. Just pull it this way. Slide it this way. Grab here, pull it forward. You may be able to pull it off the front tabs. Once you get the front tabs uh, off, there are two screws on the front panel here. There's one. I always kind of set them right here so I know where they're at. Goes in here. And then this one, other one goes here. And then once you do that, then the front panel, you can lift up. And there's these little catches right down here that you just lift up and pull it off. Good rollers. The motor is definitely okay. So what the problem is? The problem is there's something down inside the chute. Somebody uh, dropped something down inside the chute, and that's one of the problems. With so I was able to uh, turn it upside down, and have a somewhat free motor. I'm gonna turn it on and blow it out. To make sure everything's out of it and what came out of it basically was a dime and a bottle cap so lesson is don't put anything on your dryer that's going to come down the chute okay so i took the back panel off and here's your disclaimer. Um, I just wanted to check inside here to make sure I couldn't, there was nothing in there because it was a slight rattle and it seemed to be fine at this point. There's nothing inside here um, that's major. So, since we got the back panel off, there's a clump of lint in here. Small clump of lint on the bottom. Since we got this back panel off, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do what I call a dry check. <clears throat> that basically means uh, just a check of the thermostats. Set your uh, meter on continuity. Okay, so make sure your meter's working right. And basically the way you do it is check on, you set it on your ohms, then touch your probes together and see if you get a readout. And we got closed loop right there. Okay, we're gonna check this one again. And this one says closed loop. So we, we're looking good here. Check the heating element. So basically it's these two here. Make sure your unit is unplugged when you do this. So we're getting, you're getting continuity there, so that looks good. And then you can also check continuity between your ground and your line. And here, we have, looks like we might have a shorted heating element. So this heat element may be shorted. 
to do is try and isolate it. Try it again. Make sure it's on there. And so that is not showing any continuity. That is a good sign. So let's check this one here. That one there is not showing any continuity. So that's good. So we got a good heating element, it appears. And so we'll check this one here. And that one's good. And once again, this one here. And this one is good too. So this one looks like a good dryer. Uh, yeah, it's just, just a salvage. And the only thing that was wrong with it basically was we got some coins and this thing down fell down the chute. What you want to check for is lint built up back in here. Uh, sometimes you can just take a screwdriver and poke it through there and clean some of this stuff out. This one's pretty good. Got a little built up, but not much. Just poke it through there. And a little note about the belt. So basically, here's your belt. And so the, this will go around the barrel right here, supposedly. And it'll go underneath this. This, this sets, just sets in there like that. Underneath there and pulls around here, and then this whole thing here goes around the barrel. So that's that's how the belt should be, and uh, yeah, just like that. And this area back here goes around the barrel. So there's another disclaimer. And if you're interested in my how to make money in the uh, recycling business course, I take two students a year and I have a course on how to make money in the recycling business. And if you're interested in that, you can contact me again, Eureka Recycler at yahoo.com. Or give me a call, 707-445-1591. Thank you. So if this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. And if you need any help, you can contact me at 707-445-1591. Eureka Recycler at Yahoo.com. Eureka Recycler at Yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.